Hey guys, so you want to learn how to sculpt, but you want to know what program to use? Well, in today's video, I'm going to be comparing the best free software, which is Blender and ZBrush Core Mini. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Thomas, and this is the channel all about teaching you how to become better at Blender. I want to remind you guys that I stream every Monday and Friday here on the channel. Uh, you just have to subscribe and when you go to the homepage you'll see a section upcoming live streams so yeah just enjoy the video okay guys so here we are and what i'm going to be doing first is the, the user interface so this is what you do this is blender and then what you do is click sculpting and when it loads this is what you're greeted with and that's glance pretty simple yeah. uh all you have to do is click this button I have everything. So you have all your brushes, you have changing all your brushes, you have everything right on the screen. Um, this has all your brushes that you're going to need, and then you work. Okay? Like us, this is ZBrush. This is literally what you have when you load in. Everything. This is just the whole thing. You sculpt over here, you have tools, and that's it. It's very limited software yeah that's all you have there draw size density how detailed you want your mesh exporting uh your eight brushes and some transform that's the whole software and you can snap you have nothing you have no menus you have nothing very simple that's what you need to start okay so here we are on blender so all the different tools obviously it has a ton more brushes compared to zbrush um zbrush is just the core well yeah zbrush core mini but it's just the basics it has eight brushes that's it like blender i don't know how many it has let me count one two the ones that i don't actually consider brushes um there's about 26 of them so i'm not uh, including all the different uh, tools like this um, including uh, mask cloth and all the other ones up here okay so 26 brushes obviously a lot more than zbrush but if we open the zbrush this is a lot what you need so you have your standard brush wait you have to go to back to default you have your standard brush it does that okay then you have your clay strips in inflate you have pinch which is crease uh you have your move or grab brush if you're in blender snake hook you have your slash which is also like another crease and then flatten now this is just a bare basics but if you're getting if you brand new to sculpting this is going to be all you need so yeah, I don't think the brushes are that much of a limiting factor. Um, yeah. Now, one thing, hotkeys. ZBrush, you can't change them at all. Whereas Blender, you can change literally any everything in the software. Um, you can change everything. Whereas if you go here into ZBrush, you can't change at all. There's no settings anywhere. So remember that you can't change the key bounds so if you be coming from a different software then you're stuck with the def uh, the default zbrush uh, settings so yeah i think blender is better with uh, in terms of hotkeys okay next off let's talk, talk in terms of how simple or how easy it is to pick up each software first thing i want to say blender it's literally 10 times easier to download compared to zbrush um yeah nothing not a big deal but it's just blender you go to the page it literally has a download you have to go search up and uh for zbrush you have to go search up and enter emails and again this is only get your license it's a lot more complicated to do that way so yeah this is one, one thing but the interface on blender you have more control over how blender works and more features and stuff but that makes it more harder to use like you can change everything you can change i mean you can use so many different brushes you can use you can change all the hotkeys you everything is so customizable and so many tools 
that makes it harder to use. Whereas if you in ZBrush, everything is here for you. You can't change your brushes. You can't change. You have these mat caps. You have these brushes. You have this color for your mesh. That's it. Everything. Everything is Racha. You learn how many of your keybinds they are. And you're done. You can't change it. But it's really simple. If you just get into 3D software and you just want to learn this, ZBrush is so much simpler. Yeah. Okay. The next one thing I want to talk about is um, how detailed you can get a mesh before you experience any lag. Because ZBrush Core Mini, it just feels so much more respons uh, responsive than it does compared to um, Blender. So, yeah, if I just sculpt like this, you can see up here the active polygons that is just going up and up and up like that. I could even uh, zoom in. So it's like right now, I have 140,000 polygons and it's still responsive as ever, ever. Like it hasn't changed one tiny bit. Whereas in Blender, um, let's see, we go turn on statistics and we go uh, put it on dynamic topology. Okay, here yeah, we had 140,000 polygons. This doesn't feel as responsive, like when you add, like when when you drawing, as it does when you're in ZBrush. ZBrush just feels so much more responsive. That instantaneous responsiveness. Um, yeah. So ZBrush is definitely a lot better for lower end PCs. Cool. Um, one thing that ZBrush did not include that Blender does masks now masks is if you don't know uh if i get the mask uh mask brush you can go and draw here you can see it gets this black here and if i go to my clay strip brush you can see i cannot draw where this mask is okay and then i can invert it and then only sculpt in this mask that is really really useful and Call Mini just doesn't have it. They just did not include it, which can be kind of annoying, not gonna lie. So that's one thing that Blender has that ZBrush doesn't. Another thing that Blender has that ZBrush doesn't is ZBrush won't let you get a second mesh. In ZBrush, there is no second mesh. The only thing you do is just add, you can just draw. You can't go and add a second mesh. In. Whereas if I'm in Blender, I can just go and there you go we have two different meshes and then we can go and i don't know add another curve or something and so on so on add meshes whereas call mini you can't do that there's just no option to add a second mesh so yeah then it's a lot more useful there you can build a, a base to sculpt on and then sculpt the, all, all the meshes together or just have them uh, different meshes cutting through each other so that you don't have to smooth each part out or just add creases around the corners and stuff. So yeah, that's how Blender takes the lead. So yeah. Okay guys, so all in all, um, whichever software you want, it's up to you. I hope this video has helped you choose which one is better for you. And yeah, but remember, not the software, but it's a person. If you have the good enough skills to sculpt, the software does not matter. But personally, it does. It depends on what you want to be creating. Um, and yeah. Okay, guys. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure to like, subscribe, and go check out my Discord down below. Cheers. Have a day. Have a good day.